Welcome back everybody to this let's play of uh, Total War Three Kingdoms and the um, the Radius mod which has been uh, sub modded uh, to address the battlefield morale and um, in the last video we took um, this town and um, following on from that uh, we've actually gone up a power rank and so our uh, we're, we're more uh, we're more noted. Uh, we're now second marquee. That will give us uh, some other options and bring with it uh, some uh, some challenges on its own. I imagine. And uh, yeah, so we're just getting the the rewards for that. Uh, just going to click through these notifications. So we've secured now this commandery, which is where um, the iron mine was. So that's good. So we may be able to alter some of these buildings actually to focus maybe more on industry um, so this one's increasing food production you see and uh, more income from the peasantry whereas really I'd be more interested in maybe yeah maybe something like the private workshops which then go on to give increased yeah or actually maybe labor labor to actually uh, employ those in the mines and, and boost up mining income so i'm thinking actually let's can we just demolish let's demolish this and, and change that over uh, ancillary um Okay, so the general who gives tranquility to the north, uh, we've got that for conquering five regions um, north of the Yellow River, which is great. Um, that was actually his capital. <laughs> uh, fine, so that was um, that was pretty straightforward. Um, I'm demolishing this. Can I can I upgrade this whilst demolishing that? It's telling me I can, but I don't really need to at the moment because I've got 800,000 capacity and less than 300,000 citizens. Um, let's. Yeah, we can't go on and attack the second settlement, but we certainly can move up to the border and um, push on next turn. Let's have a little look at the court. Uh, oh, so we've got the Grand Excellency post now available. Um, nobody who I really want to to appoint. Um, no, no not, not at this stage. Though, could I... Just wondering what would happen if I um, promoted maybe my wife. Uh, more income from industry, uh, but she's she is administering a commandery. Um, yeah, look, let's if it's not broken, don't fix it. And at the moment, I don't believe it's broken. So let's um, let's focus on the war. This we offer. This. So Kong Rong. Uh, he wants a trade agreement, or he'd like a trade agreement, and he is willing to give me 4,000. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. We have achieved the intended result. Um, I would have, I'd have probably taken that trade agreement f just simply for the benefits the um, the trade agreement would have brought. So the the four the four grand made it a no-brainer. Uh, so. He's brought up an army, a full stack army, to block our advance. Um, so Song has gained a rank, and she is in our army. She's also an administrator, so we're, we've got some interesting choices in her advancement. Um, more authority ignores forest penalties. That can be useful. Enables flaming shot, guys. There's no on, on reflection. 
uh, whilst uh, she's got two different roles which could have presented interesting choices. The the gaining of that flaming shot really, um, the, the, yeah, there was no, no question about the way I was going to go. So let's continue to upgrade the military infrastructure down here. And, um, ah, yes, so let's, oh, why can't I go down the labour route? Um, Oh, I see. So we need a large town before we can... Okay, well, get me that large town then, please. So, do we want to go on a winter offensive to try and take this town? Um, what's he got then? So the garrison... Um, so, more cavalry, more infantry along with this full stack army. R2 full stack should be able to take care of that no problem though. And um, if we take it, we, we get these horse pastures. Um, let, let's go on the offensive because I know he's got, I think, another army. So if he brings up another full stack, um, those two full stacks along with the garrison will then outnumber my attacking force. Whereas if I attack him now, we've, um, we've got that... Uh, numerical superiority. So let's bring up this army and um, I would think that now I can bring both my forces against his. This is this is the largest battle we fought. In fact, his army is slightly, slightly depleted. I think he's been on um, on his own campaigns um, this, this is a little bit, um, so I've got large army battles selected, uh, and I've got sort of 4,000, whereas he's got closer to 6,000, but of course I've got this second army, which I just don't think, you know, it's, it's actually 8,000 against 6,000. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe that bar is right, I, I don't know. Anyway, let's stop, uh, pontificating and get into it. And um, I think both the armies were fairly... My impression was that they were fairly well balanced in terms of cavalry, archers, infantry. Um, let's see. Let's see what the terrain is like. So we've got this beautiful winter setting, uh, this little encampment in the middle of the battlefield. That might create some um, some options for us. Um, and I just kind of, I think I want to deploy the bulk of my force up here um, so that we can um, perhaps we avoid getting broken up between this rocky outcrop um, this village and perhaps um, get up here and uh, try and take the high ground so that we're fighting ideally downwards. Um, yeah, let's, let's try and achieve that. I am attacking, um, so I don't want to be too too passive, uh, though he may come to me because of my, my artillery, um, though not in, not in quite the suicidal way that uh, that poor town garrison did. Um, so actually, yeah, on the off chance he's going to come to me. Let's just... Um, we'll go in a fairly pedestrian deployment. Um, keep um, keep cavalry down here just to protect that flank. Have some cavalry up here in the form of our um, heroes. And yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out these horse archers um, up here just to try and um, ensure we take control of that high ground. Um, 
where is my so my reinforcements are coming from this side um, yeah well I'm gonna to want to march them straight over here to try and link up uh, in terms of deployables let us just thinking um, really my cavalry is going to hold this area if they whip around this sort of rocky outcrop so let's actually let's, let's plonk the stakes in front of our archers just to try and dissuade any cavalry who may come and um, what we'll do is we'll plonk the oil can we put the oil, we'll put the oil here because if the enemy do attack, what I'll do is I'll pull these archers back behind my guys, set fire to the oil, I'll abandon the uh, sort of the ballistas. Uh, but anyway, look, let's uh, let's make a start. Okay, so they're strung out. Or oh, no, they've probably got their army and the garrison already deployed, so we may be at a slight disadvantage right now um, until our second force joins up with us. Let's get these uh, horse archers deployed, move the cavalry out a bit as well, just to um, take control of those flanks as far as we can. Yeah, they look like they're moving up here as well. Um, Let's deploy some infantry into the trees. Everybody over here, please. And uh, in particular, I am going to run the cavalry. Because I don't like what's going on on the flanks here at the moment. Form, uh, form a line, guys. Form a line more swiftly, please. Don't want to be receiving a charge whilst you're still organizing. Okay, guys, we've run out of time here. Um, I'm hoping this is where my greater numbers will come into use um, and we can at least win this cavalry engagement. We've got Gonsman Zan involved. He's a uh, very capable. Okay, the ballistas are now firing. Um, yeah, so we saw off that cavalry. I don't want to get too, too caught up. Let's go over here. The enemy unit flees. What coward! Can we counter this cavalry or are they going to get to my... Okay, so we interrupted many of them, but not uh, not enough. Let's pull back our, our crew. What's going on over here? Our, our, our cavalry has become far too embroiled. Get back guys, get back. Overexposed. And uh, that's uh, so going to be a big failure. And uh, pause for a second. Pull back, guys. Get behind the uh, get behind the spearmen. Quickly. How are things going up here? We need to get embroiled. Get the 
get those axemen involved to try and um, even up the situation. Let's bring more cavalry over to this flank. Um, guys, you're... Uh, I'm just concerned that our cavalry is going to get caught up in a big melee with a lot of spearmen. Where is the infantry? Oh gosh, millions of miles away. We're gonna have to run you guys. Yes. My fault, my fault entirely. So this is just a... Uh, just a bloody melee in the trees. How is Gong Swang Zan doing? I'm uh, just conscious that um, if I completely ignore him, he may go off and get himself killed. Come on, guys, I want to neutralize that uh, enemy cavalry. Uh, yeah. And uh, let's bring back these crossbowmen. Let's commit some more infantry. Um, there's a number of enemy archers there that may be. Uh, well. Right, so are we get are we getting control up here? Uh, who are these guys? Okay, so this cavalry is uh, very annoying. Oh, you bring the wife back. The unit's pretty low, but we can bring the axemen probably to uh, take care of those. Um, yeah, our. Our cavalry over here did did get embroiled in uh, fighting, so uh, well spear armed infantry, and that's pretty much what I didn't want to happen. But they have they have held up the bulk of the enemy force. This cavalry unit's on its own. Come out of there for the moment, although you are doing you are doing good work. Um, can these archers do anything? Are we still? I'm a little bit unhappy about all of that, really. Um, oh, so the oil. <laughs> so, have they ignited the oil? Is that my... Uh, come on, guys. Guys, get in here. Still, these uh, these units in the flank. Uh, yeah. So there, they've broken. So maybe our horse archers can chase them down. Guys, I need you back in the fight over here. Uh, This is still a big, uh, big sort of dangerous blob of infantry, but we've at least got them contained for the moment. Bring these troops back. Um, well, too much of a threat. Come on. You look beautiful, but I need you back into the fray.
Gone to Anzan, where are you? Oh, yes, you are um, part of this uh, group that went off. Um, look like we're mostly mopping up now. Can we get amongst those sword arm troops and finish them off so that they don't rally at any point in the future? These guys have rallied. Uh, yeah, we'll look. We'll leave that cavalry. Charge them. Still, these uh, spear spearmen clinging on. I think they've broken the now. Finally. Uh, oh, see these, these, yeah, these, uh, these cavalry units are pretty decimated, but perhaps they can, um, perhaps combined, they'll be enough to take on this, uh, this champion. Uh, I thought I selected you. Come back over here. Okay, so. Victory. Uh, not a neat, not a neat and tidy one. Not neat and tidy, but uh, victory nonetheless. Um, yeah, perhaps I should have been a bit more, a bit more gamey. Perhaps pulled back a bit further. Certainly protected my um, my ballistas more. Um, yeah, we were. Uh, Saved a little bit there. Well, let's say a little bit. Saved a lot by our overwhelming numbers, which is uh, not the way I like to. Uh, not the way I'd like to win. I'd love to be saying now that we uh, we pulled that one out of the bag due to my uh, tactical genius, but that is just not the not the case. Um, oh, sorry, guys. I'm just want to run down these buggers though. He was in the. He was in the town, wasn't he, actually? So, yeah, sorry. I'm uh, wasting time, wasting time. Hmm. So, a decisive victory. Uh, let's... Uh, I mean, how, how... How decisive? I mean, I, I think both my armies are... Largely intact. So, we lost, lost a thousand men against their close to six thousand. Um, we've captured some people. Um, so let's deal with these first, and then I'll talk a bit more about that battle. So, age 25, brave, charitable, solitary, no friends and rivals. Um, yeah, I'm actually thinking I'm going to employ this guy. Let's employ with me. So, um, yeah, obviously my... Um, my multiple bolt crossbow, who I keep calling ballistas, um, they got a bit hammered. Um, but generally, I suppose, yeah, okay, we, all, we didn't do too bad. The, the battle felt far more chaotic and um, costly than it actually was, but I suppose in reality, our cavalry on both flanks really took the, took the brunt of the... Um, of the fighting, um, yeah, particularly this sort of second army where the cavalry got there, got there first. But yeah, I suppose the bulk of our infantry, our archers, weren't weren't really engaged. Um, so um, yeah, overall better than I better than I thought. Um, so let's have a look. Sack and withdrawal. Well, we're certainly not doing that because we want the territory. Loot and occupy. Well, it would hammer the population, give us a bit of income, lose faction support. It would, it would give us a lot of military supplies, but I don't think that's a problem for us right now, and the settlement levels reduce. So, yeah, again, I've got to occupy. It's very rare that I um, find sort of the, the more destructive options better on balance. Um, we've gained some ancillaries, the Blood Dragon. Um, this is a title, obviously. Uh, win a battle where one of your generals personally kills 600 or more soldiers. Uh, sorry guys, I miss, I missed who that was. I must have been riding down uh, prisoners and maybe those um, 
particularly when they're my uh, sort of left flank went forward and the, those uh, swordsman units broke. Um, so yeah, that's improved relations. That's good. And we've uh, we've had some ranks gained. So let's uh, let's deal with that. Um, again, um, some of these people, this particular guy, have dual roles in my faction, both administrators and uh, generals. Um, ooh, so plus 15% melee damage for all shock cavalry. Uh, that's useful. More morale. Enables scare. Ooh, that could be, that could be handy as well. Um, guerrilla deployment, I'm not so interested in, in that, um, though as commander of this army, uh, the increased chance of ambushing could potentially be useful. Let, let's go with vengeance first of all. Uh, any accessories actually? Oh, so I'll tell you what, we'll add, um, we'll add the six secret teachings, which will bump his chance of um, ambushing, if, if it ever becomes. Uh, relevant, of course, if there's ever that opportunity. And um, well, fire arrows, fire arrows, it is. No need for a long debate there. In terms of this town, then we've so the high tribal horse trainers. So we'll definitely upgrade that. Waiting for this to upgrade. We've got a new reform and. Um, So let's have a look. What would this do? This would unlock heavy mounted archers. So heavy bow cavalry. Uh, yeah, let's get that. And um, I think you might be able to hear my my dog. Uh, he uh, he wants to go out for a walk, so he's causing uh, causing a bit of fuss. So I'll leave the video there off the back of that uh, that decent field battle, and uh, in the next videos we will see if we can see off Li Yu, take his territories and then um, that will hopefully open up some more more options for us. Okay, thanks very much guys. See you next time.